since that's uh, a great song, and it was written by my uh, friend Dan Keenan and Kenny McLaughlin. They work on the thermal protection system team, and it's a tribute to all the workers on Endeavor and our sister shuttles. And uh, so to all of our friends, we salute, uh, we salute you at the Kennedy Space Center from the crew of Endeavor. Watch the uh, wire tie there with the MMOD. Looking good, just like the pool. Whoa. <laughs> Keep it just like the pool for a while, and it'll all look good. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Drew, I just wanted to say uh, welcome back to uh, Open Space and Taz. Uh, congratulations on being the 201st human being to uh, be in outer space. I waited a long time to say those words to you. Congratulations. Thanks, Big Thank you. You know, it's a dream come true for me. It would be for anybody, the first or the 201st. Awesome. Wow. Welcome to space, buddy. Drew, good checks. Uh, you were to continue outboard to Bay 19, and you are going to stow your CETA bag on S3 handrail 3046 and 3038. And that's uh, Greg Chamatoff with the broken red stripes on his suit, carrying the materials ISS experiment or retrieved. That will be returned home. He's uh, going to put that in the shuttle's payload bay. He's essentially at the... Uh, interface between the U.S. Laboratory Destiny and the uh, Unity module, the first connecting node. From the orbiter. View from Drew Feustel's helmet camera as he is uh, back up at the uh, location where the Missy 8 or the materials ISS experiment will be uh, deployed on the uh, Extra Express Logistics Carrier. A little more than two hours into the spacewalk now, this view from uh, Greg Chamatoff's helmet cam as he uh, is in the steps associated with uh, installing a light on a CETA cart on the, uh, out on the, one of the uh, truss structures. Me to grab the Sarge cover. Yep, grab the Sarge cover and uh, with the PGT, and the N2 vent tool and the Sarge cover, you're clear to go to the uh, outboard to the Sarge. And uh, I think you remember the translation. If you need any help, just let us know, and you'll be installing the missing cover. Sunset in 30 seconds, gentlemen. Drew, you can retrieve your red and then go back and get your green hook. I'll okay. copy. I copy all as you want me to depart, or? Yeah, I got it from here. Okay, it looks. Like, once you made it, you should be okay. You yeah. can even get rid of that right now if you wanted to. Yeah, if you connect it up here, I can hold it so it won't go anywhere. And, Greg, I have a note here uh, that we wrote after our last run. It's uh, for you to mind the rest. Copy. Now for the uh, fun for you, Drew. You're going to remove the four caps, and you're going to use the... Uh, the uh, BRT wire tie, and you want the first cap as far down on the wire tie as possible. Right. And the four caps are J16 Alpha, B16 Alpha, P1, and P2. Okay, I see them all. So, Greg, it looks like uh, you got the uh, soft dock, and you're checking that it's fully seated. Is that correct? Soft dock, soft yes. Okay. Okay, Swanee, uh, we copy, and uh, we did our own analysis up here, and it uh, turns out to be the same thing. So uh, uh, if I can repeat back what I heard, Drew's going uh, to uh, clean up the, the tools and tethers and uh, make sure the cables are in a good configuration, and then we'll send him over to the event tool extension bag. Then we'll have uh, Taz uh, run the steps that we talked about before, steps 33 through 39, and he'll clean up the area and uh, take the, uh, the his uh, bag uh, back to the airlock. And by that time, we should be pretty much uh, tagged up and in before the one hour and 30 minutes. I'll copy. 